Hey, what's up everybody? This is your girl Miss P. I hope that you are doing well. Happy day after Thanksgiving or whenever you might be seeing this video. But everybody has been asking, Miss P, what are you going to do for your 300th video? And I was thinking about it. I was like, maybe I should do like a big old compilation of what I've done. I was like, no, this is going to take too long. Then I thought about, well, maybe I should just put up the Connecticut um, the vlog. No, that's very random. I was thinking maybe I should do like my Black Friday experience. No, but it was just duh of me to do a thankful type video. I'm just going to be very raw and um, I believe that will definitely come across in this video as well as it would be awesome for my 300th video I think. I can't even believe it's been 300 videos like this is crazy and we're close to 25,000 subscribers which is awesome and I can't even believe that. I was looking um, just on my main channel I rarely do that and it said I have over 8 million video views like that is ridiculous I would have never thought that people would tune in and look at what I have to say or what I'm doing everybody's always like oh my god you make me laugh when I'm not feeling well and different things like that and I really appreciate those comments thank you guys so much I received so many messages throughout the week and throughout the day and I wish I could comment to each of you as soon as I get it but I do see them so if you ever comment or send me a message or send me something on Twitter and at reply or I'm not gonna say Facebook I'm really on Facebook but whatever you send me I do see it and I thank you guys so much so crazy how this whole YouTube ride has been such an experience and it's been more positive than negative and I can honestly say that the pros really outweigh the cons. I really enjoyed this experience and being able to make you smile or whatever I might do for you. I don't know. But I really enjoy that opportunity and I really appreciate that you let me entertain you for the 5 to 10 to 20 minutes that I whatever I put up. I appreciate that you guys are so supportive of whatever venture that I go into I could be selling saying y'all I'm selling spam sandwiches next week I want you guys to and you're right there I really appreciate that and I appreciate that you trust me with that especially in my tech reviews and any review that I do I just appreciate the opportunity to help you because that's what I'm here for and people always they ask me so much this year in this semester definitely Tara how do you do it how are you able to work all the time and you're Every time I see you, you're very positive. You're not really that tired. It, at least you don't act like it. Well, my answer is I just do it. And that sparks from, I always revert back to this because it was a truly life-changing experience. I was in a terrible car accident last holiday season. I'll never forget it. It was December 20th. And um, my car was a total loss. Um, I suffered a lot of injuries. And... Um, it was traumatic for me even now. I was living my life just doing what other people wanted me to do and just going through the motions and hoping for this and hoping for that and just going on a path of whatever other people want me to do. I was people pleasing. I was just trying to be the best me through other people and I wasn't living for myself and um, I didn't I'm a spiritual person, but at that time, talking to God every day, I just fell off. And, um, I don't know, I was just all over the place. That accident really changed me, just because I'll never forget I was in the hospital room, like, with the thing on my neck and laying back and couldn't move. And, um, they had done all these tests and all these CAT scans, and my parents, they were freaking out. They were so scared, and I was scared, too. And, um... I'll never forget the doctor said, well, you're going to be fine. And he said, but if you didn't have your seatbelt on or if you were in the passenger seat, you wouldn't be here. And I was shocked. And I don't know, you know when you get chills all over your body? I got chills all over me. And I just started praying because I said, after today, and you can't make deals with God. Please don't take what I say and say, oh, she made a deal with God. No, you can't make any type of deals with God. I was just telling him that. If you get me through this, I promise I'm not going to waste my life. I was just going to live for God and live each day like it's my last. And ever since then, that's all I've done. 
and I'm, I'm a very optimistic person. I'm a very positive person by nature. I'm always um, encouraging other people just because, hey, that's what you have to do. But I never did it to my own self. You know what I mean? I was always pessimistic with myself and I always know, well, I guess you can't do that. But uh-uh. Ever since then, I've been very optimistic, not only with other people, but with myself. If I see something is feasible, if somebody else has done it, I know I can do it. So I just push through it and I go hard. For people out there who always complain and then they're tired and brush that off. I mean, you're here. Take advantage of every opportunity that presents itself to you. Something else that really sparked my attention today was um, being thankful for people that are in your life. And um, I truly, today, well, yesterday was Thanksgiving, and um, I had a lot of my closest family members with me, and um, two people really stuck out to me. The first person was um, my grandfather. Um, he lost his wife last year, and I was so hurt that that happened to him because now you know he lives alone and things like that and he's always been a very prideful man and that runs in our family like I, we are some strong people but I'm very emotional and I'm very sensitive so that's just how I am of course I'm a female but um he's very prideful and um we I invited him for Thanksgiving I'm like okay okay and um he came and um Oh, <laughs> um, he means a lot to me, and um, I don't know if you ever want to know somebody who has truly touched my life is him. Um, and he doesn't have. He always says, "I can't offer you anything. I can't give you anything," and I'm like, "I don't need anything from you." Like seriously, um, but um. He's truly an awesome person, and um, I don't know, just all day I was around him, and I don't know, it was so eerie, like I didn't want to leave him. See, I'm going to utilize these cool touches. My dad brought him over, and uh, when he was getting ready to leave, we kept talking, and I don't know, just until the last minute I was talking to him, and it was so eerie, it was just like, gosh. Like, this is so crazy, but it just made me appreciate the time that you spend with people. I just appreciate the time that I had with him because he is so full of wisdom and he loves me, like, unconditionally, and I can tell. And, um, I just really appreciate it that he came and he just lit up, like, today. Um, and that just made me smile because, um how you can touch somebody and I really realized that today um another person that really just um always benefit always touches me every single day I see her is my mother um for those of you who don't know we're very very close and um this summer my mom, she has very high blood pressure. And this summer, um, she was rushed to the hospital. She was like, um, I don't know, they said if she would have came in like 20 minutes later, she would have suffered like either a stroke or a very massive heart attack. So, of course, I was so scared. And she was so scared. You guys know what a beautiful person she is. But she is everything to me. And I was just thankful for her. She's just awesome. And she's so selfless. Like, she gives. And i that's really one thing that I admire about her. And she's so giving. And she's so loving. And um, I just aspire to be like her in so many ways. Always reverting back to what she taught me. And uh, I don't know. She's just such an awesome person. And um, she doesn't even see it half the time but um I'm very thankful for her and that's really how I'm bringing this full circle like just be thankful for who you have in your life and the time that you have with them and I appreciate that you all let me 
be in front of you for I don't care how many seconds or minutes it is. I really do appreciate the opportunity and I am truly thankful to be in front of you all. And I thank you guys so much for the love and the support and God bless each and every one of you and thank you guys so much. And uh, make sure you watch all 300 videos. But um... I don't know here's what I'll do I'll put some of my favorite videos down below and just tell me what do you guys want to see in the future um, what are you thankful for just comment down below I love comments and I will definitely see you guys in the next video thank you guys for letting me be raw <laughs> bye